All right, this is Chaotic Crypto, where tyranny is defied. Uh, we're a little bit more sideways action uh, to be expected. We're actually getting a little bit more green on the altcoins. I have to see the load. Um, yeah, just not a whole lot, but it, a few to uh, really kind of keep note of. Uh, Tezos, which is one of my older picks, but I've had it for a while. You can stake it for 5% on Atomic Wallet and uh, Exodus and Coinbase. Actually, it's like 4 to 5%. Uh, pretty nice, but uh, yeah, it's starting to make some moves. I don't really know exactly why, um, as far as the news goes, but it's had a pretty rough, rough year. But it's doing starting to pucker up, so I'm kind of thinking that might be a, a good mover. Let's see what else we got. I believe Ave Render H Bar. It really Tezos was the one. I think it was at seven or eight percent up at one point today. Let's see if this one came through. Yeah, let's see Avax B and B. BNB is okay, but I, I think most of the things on the BNB chain are kind of trash. And uh, yeah, it's just like, I mean, I don't, I don't see it doing more than a three to four, maybe five X. So yeah, be that as me, I mean, it might do a little bit better, but there's also a lot of uh, FUD about Binance. And it could be well-placed FUD. I hate to say it, but yeah, let's see what else we got here. Yeah, Tezos. I'm just like I like I like seeing that making a good move up. It kind of makes you think that it might start breaking up. We actually take a look at it now. Tezos apparently was the European Union, I believe, uh, was looking into it. Let's see, Tezos, Tezos, XTZ, I think it is. Yeah, XTZ. Yeah, so it did a pretty big wick, a fair amount of volume. This is on the daily. I mean, it's still down pretty far, but. You know, it has already broken out of its sort of a descending channel, and it kind of made a new descending tri tra uh, channel. You know, uh, yeah, I guess you could say that's a descending channel as well. But I think that that's a fair amount of volume to come in on this thing. Let's look at the weekly volume. And is there some news about it? See, yeah, here we go. Tezos to hold live stream on YouTube October fifth. That's an old, old. It loses steam in quarter two. Nifty news. Yeah, uh, nothing, nothing too crazy. I can research that more and see if I come up with anything. But you know, it's 60, 68 cents uh, to the top of the market. This is on this chart. I think I saw this at twelve dollars at one point, but no. Yeah, a 10x is six dollars eighty cents. So if we went to twelve dollars, that's a twenty x from the bottom right here. Yeah, meanwhile, you could be stacking and getting five percent rewards on this thing. So that could be a pretty big opportunity with Tezos. It's one of my one of my uh, you know OG hodls, you could say. Let's see if we see anything else. The bubbles weren't telling me of any other coins. Nasdaq. Video. Stacks was doing pretty good. Kava. Each bar. Mm. I swear there was another coin in here. Rune. I'm a little, a little bit shy about Rune. Dogecoin. Yes. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> But I had some um, I had some things I was going to talk about, and there's a new coin, zero x zero. Apparently, it's privacy enabled, and I'm not really sure what else. Altcoin Daily was talking about it today, so that might be one to keep an eye on. Usually, the coins that Altcoin Daily talks about they're pretty solid. You know, Tezos H bar. I wrote down a few. H bar made some moves today. Um, yeah. I yeah, I don't think Algorand actually made some. Yeah, I think it's down now. VE chain. Mm -mm. But I was just really going to say, like, some of these coins, like, you're, we're back at such a low. It's like, before I was even bragging about them, like, oh, it's a 10x to get to its all time highs. Like, now with a lot of these coins, it's back to a 15 to 20x to all time highs. So, looking, you know, some of these are looking really juicy. Uh, Link is continuing in this channel. It's neither here nor there. I'm kind of thinking that it might actually form some support finally, maybe on one of these lines, but it could still keep going down. I mean, its its channel could be all the way down here. 
we could in a, in a nightmare scenario can come, come all the way down here uh, to this, yeah somewhere in here which would be bad actually if it did this descending triangle and jump, jumped around here and then went down even more that'd be terrible we really want to get out of this trading channel but link uh it's like a 10x to his ultimate high a 7 8 8x it isn't bad i think i think link will probably go to 100 150 200 dollars next cycle very likely and the other good news is that uh the dixie which is the us dollar index is uh falling down pretty hard like it's down let's see that's not that word it is down it's not down as far as i thought it'd be down two percent but i guess that's like a lot for you know the dollar and it did do a gravestone doji a doji like this the long long top wick with a you know little body like that that's called a gravestone doji and those are pretty bearish and this one is becoming kind of a bullish and bearish engulfing candle if it goes below this one it's way real bearish and i think that's definitely in play fortunately unfortunately let's see there's another one yeah Looking pretty bearish. I mean, it had like 15 candles straight green, so a retracement down is pretty likely. And it's healthy if, if you're a dollar bull. But I think that might be topped out. I don't think we we'll see the U.S. Um, the Fed actually increasing rates too much more with all the more uncertainty with the wars and stuff like that. And then I think there's actually going to be – apparently the last jobs report was really good, but really it is, it is, I heard that it supported more – part-time workers so it's really not that great of a of a statistic so yeah we'll see the bitcoin's really just it's still sideways uh, if we start breaking down in the 25 region that's when i'll start worried about you know 21 to 23 but for now uh, it looks like we're still knocking our heads up on some resistance lines so if we break through on this and find support uh, it'd be a great holiday rally i think uh Thanksgiving and Christmas will be solid. And uh, that'll be that. Let's see. Let's see. Yeah, Zillica, 16 cents. Its top was 26 cents. It's 0.016 cents. So it's, yeah, to get back up there, it's an incredible, <laughs> incredible opportunity. I think Algorand is one of the best ones. And I think this will do great in the long run. Yeah, I mean, it, its high was, you know, almost $3. Call it $3, and it's it, 10 cents. Not even 10 cents. So that's a 30x to its all-time high. Right, I think thirty cents. There's that ten, ten cents into to ten. Yeah, that's a thirty x to its all time high. And then if you know, if we get up to like eight or ten dollars, like what kind of insane return is that? It's absolutely crazy. So, and even Gary Gensler said that you know Uber was going to be operating their blockchain in Algorand. I, mean, I, don't, I don't know if it means that he's not going to because of the way he's talking these days, but man. Gala Games. I'm waiting for this to, you know, punch back out. I mean, I don't think it's dead, but it kind of looks terrible, doesn't it? I think uh, Metaverse and gaming tokens are going to be still the big movers for next cycle. And I think AI utility tokens. I think everybody else would do pretty well, but like, what's the real narrative going to be? I think that's a big question. What's the real narrative going to be? And when it's really hype, when it, when the mainstream media is talking about it, and these things are making 20x all-time highs, 30x, it's just very important to take some profits. Like, I mean, you might be like, oh, it's going to keep on going higher, but you got to realize whatever it does, it retraces. It's going to come back down to its low. Like, you know, eventually. I mean, just take some profits and just wait. It's just the smartest thing to do. Not, you know, yeah. 
I mean, even if you had taken some profits right here, you could have gotten back in right here. Not not been hurt, you know. Leave a moon bag. But, you know, take 10%, 20%, 30%. Not financial advice. By the way, please uh, click the like, hit subscribe, leave a comment below. Any thoughts or suggestions, I will certainly respond. Ooh, Theta. Theta's hurting pretty good, too. Still down. It's high was... Fifteen dollars, so we're at fifty cents. So that's a thirty x to its all time high. And uh, Theta and Live Peer have a similar utility. There's not many that do. It's kind of like VE Chain. There's not many. Um, you know, VE Chain is basically a supply chain uh, checking. You know, one uh, one use case was like so. If you want to know where your meats come from, you know, the blockchain could seal all that data. And uh, you can see where it came from, where it's been checked in, when it was made, what is all these things that could be like on a ledger, a public ledger that can't be manipulated or messed up. I mean, a lot of times you look at meat or go sandwich at the store, it's like, oh, it's a handwritten thing, good until Saturday. Well, how do you know that? So I think it would be a very, very good thing to have better supply chain stuff, especially with medical, medical equipment, beer, <laughs> food. Yeah, wouldn't you like to know that you're actually paying for a hundred dollar or two hundred dollar, you know, bourbon or whatever at a restaurant and you're like it's all completely authentic? Like how how much stuff is counterfeit in this world? We don't even know how much everything is counterfeit. Like that's the point of blockchain is to provide truth and clarity to everything. And also, you know, decentralize it. Hey, maybe there's like some cases for centralization. Like some people are arguing that Solana is really centralized, but yeah, maybe, but its its point is to verify data in, in a secure way, in a fast way. <clears throat> and another thing about, you know, if, if everyone who's like loves Ethereum, a lot of these coins are built on Ethereum blockchain. Like ERC twenty is like half. I was looking at uh, Kraken, Kraken's uh, site just to see what uh, coins are supporting. So I'm thinking about moving to Kraken, which seems to be a, a solid exchange. It's let's say it's up there with Coinbase. Coinbase is probably the most solid. Uh, Crypto.com I've been using pretty solid and I kind of want another solid one so Kraken might be another exchange I start using but and I do use Femex and I believe there's a link below but you know I don't really get any you know money from them so I don't really care but they're a pretty good exchange for margin trading and all that <coughs> excuse um, but yeah Kraken looks pretty good but I was looking at their coins and the only I have to say 90% of their coins were Ethereum ERC20s and the problem with the Ethereum is that when the network is congested, which almost absolutely will get congested again, it, it it gets really expensive to send transactions on Ethereum. Maybe they'll fix this in the next bull market, but maybe they won't. I mean, and people when, when when the exchange is when the transactions cost like two hundred, three hundred dollars to send a picture of Mickey Mouse as an NFT, uh, people are gonna be like, okay, what what what's cheaper? And they're gonna be looking at Solana. They're going to be looking at Cardano. They're going to be looking at maybe Atomic Network, uh, Near. Trying to think of other, you know, layer ones. Uh, Tezos, I think, is a layer one. XRP, if if they if that ecosystem grows into other things. <coughs> Sorry, man. Um, but it, you know, and Bitcoin's great and all, but it it'll get congested as well, and that's why Litecoin was created. When Bitcoin got congested and too expensive, people were like. You got a fortune of Bitcoin Cash, and then it, you know, Litecoin was created. I mean, I think Litecoin might actually have a future because, I mean, I think it may come back to this silver narrative at some point. I mean, this Litecoin is not dead. Dead. Look at this thing; it's still here. I'd be more concerned if it was like down here, you know, and maybe they didn't make a higher high or a similar high. I think we're going to be making a giant, you know, ascending. Sending triangle type of thing. This thing might really start ripping at some point. Now, my projection for the Litecoin is, you know, three or four hundred dollars. I mean, it might make a slightly lower low, one hundred fifty to two hundred. But I think it might actually come back up here and it might even break. But if it doesn't break, come back down in the next cycle and come back up. It's kind of what I'm thinking. Litecoin will do. I think it's going to take longer for that to adopt or really push to go anywhere. It's just, of course, I'm just a guy on the internet talking about. Things that I think are going to happen. Uh, crypto.com. Now, crypto.com can actually 
survive the remainder of this bear market, which will be over in 200 days. The halving is in 200 days, which is absolutely crazy. Um, the Bitcoin halving, for those who don't know, it's basically when the halving rewards for the miners, people that are mining Bitcoin, it gets the reward gets cut in half, <clears throat> and they get half as many rewards. And that creates a, a certain kind of pressure, and there's less, less coins, so because there's less coins, price go up. Uh, you know, typical uh, supply and demand principle right there. And then that usually will lead the market into the next bull market. And then Bitcoin will run first, Ethereum, maybe some other layer ones will move first. Maybe uh, Cardano might move faster. Maybe maybe um, Solana moves faster. <clears throat> but uh, once those move, then that goes into the smaller coins. And each ecosystem also has its own rule of coins. <clears throat> So, uh, yeah, if you're like, um, yeah, Ethereum has all its ERC 20, but Solana has its own, it has like Arweave and has Helium and has, uh, Audius. Uh, there's a fair amount of, uh, Solana coins. There's Polkadot. Sorry. I didn't realize Polkadot. Dot is a uh, one to keep an eye on. Absolutely. So definitely keep an eye on all that. And I've just been ranting. Ontology is one I just don't want to get rid of, but this the chart looks terrible. But I'm getting 17, 18 percent rewards on, and you can you can stake it on Exodus, and you can stake it on Garda. Garda wallets one a newer wallet I've been using, decentralized wallets. These are decentralized hot wallets. They're not the most safe, but they're safer. And uh, yeah, a lot of these coins you can get staking rewards just for preserving the network. You get rewarded for it. It's really cool. Free money. Near probably get eleven percent on Exodus wallet. Absolutely cool. Maybe the next uh, video I'll talk about which ones you can actually stake on which protocols. I've done it before, but maybe it's something I should push harder. But uh, yeah, I made some notes, uh, and I do work a normal job, so well, it's not normal, but I do work a job. So like a lot of times, I'm half tired or I'm just trying to think of the things I was going to talk about. I said, I was like, yeah, take profits. The When your coin's up 20x, like, take some profit. Take 10%, 20%. You know, that's where I messed up. I, they, I thought that coins, when they made these highs, would stay up. I thought that, okay, they'll, they'll just stay up and they'll consolidate. Or maybe they'll drop 50%. But no. Um, if you look at, you know, there's this that one. Exitezos. Like. <laughs> and this chart goes back further than this. I mean, XRP. Like, I mean... I thought, okay, maybe we'd co up and consolidate here instead. No, it fell even further. Like, I thought that I was good. Like, even, I, mean, I, I think, like, next cycle, I mean, XRP might really rip where it stays pretty solid on top of these previous resistances or down here, the dollar. But regardless, like, <clears throat> you, you want to take profits. <laughs> if you're at three or five dollars of XRP, ten dollars of XRP, you take freaking profits because, like, and you wait a year. Take, a, take your profits and wait a year. Again, not financial advice, but do that. Bear market's going to be in 2025, 2026. Think back in 2027, you just, you know, you'll make so much money. Very important. Very important. I think my rant is over with. Uh, what is the... And I may start trying to go live. If anyone's watching, uh, please uh, hit uh, maybe like leave a comment below. Just say go live or live next time. Something like let me know. Like if there are people that are routinely watching this every day, I'll start going live and I'll interact with you and like take questions or whatever. Like I have been in this market since 2017. I've seen the bad and the good, and the ugly and the boring. I've seen it all. And I've made some bad decisions. I've made some crappy decisions. I've made some good decisions too. I've been smart about it, but it just takes time. And it takes really one full cycle. I mean, BitBoy said it took him six, seven years to really make any money with crypto. I'm at the six year mark, I think. Yeah, so it makes sense. And I have made money up. I probably, you know, I've done, I've done all right. It's just the way out, the way it should have been was different. <laughs> but you know, there's no point in getting out right now in the bear market. You know, so take profits. <clears throat> What is the altcoin market? I think I've talked about it. I think the altcoin market is just primed 
for 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 dipping, you know, like dollar cost averaging into these things because they've been just hammered. So that's it for me today. I think. Uh, oh yeah, uh, the SBF trial. I was, that'd probably be my my meme uh, image today. But he's apparently getting rat out by Carolina Listen, and they're just they're just so disgusting. Those people are terrible. So interesting to see. Uh, good to see some justice. Maybe being at least make him scared. <laughs> he's probably not going to get much time. Maybe I'll feel sorry for him or something. I don't really care. Who cares? Just give give people their money back and access to their funds. So we'll see what happens. Uh, we'll check back in tomorrow and uh, have a good evening. Peace.